Yo, 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 what is up, my peeps? Jermaine Mancop here. We are back with another of our awesome series in Class Quests in TBC Classic. Today, we're going to take a quick look at the Blood Elf Warlock. This is going to be fun. So, pitter-patter, let's get at her, as the man says. Glory to the Sindori. There's more to magic than just arcane gesticulations. I'm speaking to someone who already knows this, yes? You've come to me to learn, and learn you will, so long as you pay attention. Do as I say. The secrets of the demons do not cater to fools, and neither do I. Heed my words, young one. There is a taint about this island that is far more potent. Potent? 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 Heed my words, young one. There's a taint to this about this island, and it is far more potent than the remnants of the scourge. I believe there is a true demonic presence on the isle. West of here are the spires of Valthrim Academy. The arcane race that infest it are a window to the source of demonic power. Where to bring me the essence of a tainted and untainted race. In exchange for your obedience, I'll teach you how to summon an imp companion. Your first is of many, as a warlock. Farewell. All right, we can do that. Glory to the Sindori. The essences of the wraiths will serve me well as sources of experimentation. Much like your life as a warlock, it is important to learn from what we find in the world before twisting it to our will. With demons as the richest source of power, it will be quite the boon if such a taint is truly present on the isle. Well, a boon for us warlocks, that is. Well done. There should be enough essence to get started on my research. I have a strong feeling that this tainted essence will be just the thing. The window, as I mentioned. Following the orders of your masters is highly recommended as a young warlock. As I promised you, here is the reward for obeying instructions and completing them in a competent manner. The knowledge to summon and bind your own imp. Use it well, Payne. Remember the sun well. Jublas, Payne's minion, is summoned. Anaria Shola. Well, I am certain your imp has proven a useful and sometimes entertaining servant. It is time for you to master a more powerful demon, the Void One. Travel down the Dead Scar until it is crossed by the Elrindar River. Just south of that river, locate one of the blue glowing stones and take it. Your path will be revealed there. We will have justice. There's actually quite a few of them.
As you gaze into the stone, your vision begins to swirl. Void stone reveals a vision of a multi-story building haunted by ghostly figures. As the scene shapes and blurs, other buildings come into view, leading you to believe it is golden this village. Rooftops and tree canopies suddenly flash by, revealing the way to Golden Mist Village by following the Elrendar River to the west. Once there, the Void Stone, use the Void Stone near the room of summoning atop the center building, beat the summon Void Walker. Only then can you return to your teacher. Let's do it. What business have you? Have you followed the path revealed by the Void Stone? I'm impressed you are standing here, Pain. Many an apprentice has perished to the Void Walker, or even the Void Stone itself. Shorel Oran. So Klafnak has come to serve. Well, guys, that's the first few of the Blood Elf Warlock class quests. We'll come back again, revisit these once we start finish the rest. So it was very interesting. I, I like that it's a class where you have to learn your pets, you know what I mean? You have to actually take the quests to, to figure it out. To, I mean, you could get to level 60 without ever, you know, getting a demon. So, or level 70 rather in this case. This being TBC Classic. So, we shall be back with more next time. Peace. Cop out.